Atmospheric pollution and overpopulation were serious concerns on Earth by the end of the 21st century. Human movement was severely limited. The wiper colonization of 2103 could not be stopped. This primitive species from the dark star solar system found Earth perfect for their favorite pastime, the disruption of all communication and data technology. The spread of wipers and pollution increased the need for the scientific search for solutions. In 2117, the worldwide government voted for the gradual evacuation of all Earthlings to the White Crystal Solar System. This report was completed in 2123, during our final days on Earth. We leave it for those who may return here in the storage vault for human learning, the last Earth library. Well done. But a bit depressing, huh, Lester? Yeah. Uh, what was that tape number again? 006-84. Look at the headline. That's excellent. We must include it as one of the final items in the last library. Put it on microfilm and file it, Dundee. Right. Now, is everything complete? The book's about the history of the wipers on Earth. Shouldn't they be over in fiction? No. I want all the history books about wipers to stay on the non-fiction shelves at 909. That's where they belong, according to the Dewey Decimal System. 900 through 999 are the call numbers for history and geography. Right. But how will those who return know what to find the books that they need? How will they know what a call number is or even what the Dewey Decimal System is? Lester, Melville Dewey invented the Dewey Decimal System precisely to help people find the books they're looking for. See in the wall? I'm sure they'll be able to learn the system just as we have. I'm sure too, but... And to help them, I've prepared a complete set of instructions programmed in the computer. Here's the Dewey Decimal Classification System. In the card catalog, they'll find subject, title, and author cards guiding them to books based on facts and information. Oh, yeah. You mean nonfiction, like uh, history, science, and art. Exactly, Lester. And they'll find cards guiding them to made-up books, written purely from the author's imagination. You mean fiction, like The Golden Wiper Mystery by Sanford Bight. That's always been your favorite, hasn't it, Lester? Well, actually, I prefer How to Eat Fried Worms by Thomas Rockwell, but who listens to Lester around here? The Great Brain by John Fitzgerald and Black Beauty by Anna Sewell are two of my favorites. Oh, Lester, I hate to leave these books behind. Who knows what will happen to all this when only the wipers are left? Well, this library is well hidden. I don't think the wipers can find this underground vault. I think, I think it's more difficult to part with the fiction than non-fiction. But do you know what really seems impossible? What? Leaving behind all my reference books. All these encyclopedias with general information about everything we human beings know anything about. And this unabridged dictionary. I've used it so often. It has definitions and pronunciations for every word in the English language. Mm. Look, here's the word cloud. Seven definitions for a cloud. Seven. And that's just for the noun. And to think, we will never see another cloud in the Earth's sky after today. Miss Bookhart? Miss Bookhart? Miss Bookhart. Yes, Margaret. I was making the final check of the nonfiction library and bookmobile shelves, and in the 909s, there is a volume missing from the history of wipers on Earth. Are you sure? I thought you and the others who were here checked those shelves days ago. Well, they must have overlooked it, and now everyone is at the evacuation site, and I can't find the book anywhere. Now, you're sure you were in the 909s, Margaret. Did you look at the labels on the shelves? Yes, I'm sure I was in the 909s. Look, see here? 
the history of wipers on Earth. They're all here, I'm telling you, everyone except for Volume 3. Volume 3? That's the volume which covers the capture and defection of the Singing River Wipers. It gives the history of the Bite family, how they came to live as Earthlings, a great deal of information about wipers. Maybe it was misshelved. Lester, I want you to search the fiction section, particularly all the fiction ever written about wipers. Okay, all the made-up books about wipers. Got it. Yes, Margaret can help you. Perhaps the history volume is mixed up with the fiction books about wipers. Where's Dundee? I used Senna to get a microfilm of the final edition of the Worldwide News. Oh, yes. I'll go check with her. Maybe she knows where volume three is. Start looking now. We've only got two hours before we're due at the evacuation site. Well, come on, Margaret. Let's look in the fiction section and look for the author's last names. Why? Because all the fiction books are on the shelves. In alphabetical order. By the author's last name. <laughs> Wait! We don't know all the author's last names. We can't even look for the author card in the card catalog. You're right. Come over here, Margaret. Come here. Now, we could look up the titles in the card catalog. Now, there's a card in here for each book title. The cards are in alphabetical order. The author's names are right on the title cards. So, we could get the author's names off the title cards and look for the books on the shelves. But we don't have the titles of all the fiction books about wipers. Well, I guess all we know is that we want all the fiction books about wipers. <laughs> We don't know the author, so we can't look for author cards. We don't know the title, so we can't look for title cards. But we do know the subject. We can look for the subject cards. And the subject is... Wipers. That's it. Uh, yeah. We'll look at the subject cards under wipers. T-I through U-N. U-P through V-U. W through W-I. Wipers. This is it. Yeah. I didn't know there were so many books in here about wipers. Well, this is the official Earth Archive on wipers. We have all the books about wipers here. Now, we better start making a list of the fiction right now. But the cards for the fiction and the non-fiction books are all in here together. We only need the fiction books, so how do we know the difference on these cards? Well, by the call numbers. See, here, in the upper left-hand corner. These are numbers that tell us where the books are on the shelves. Fiction books, though, have an F in the first letter of the author's last name. Well, which ones have the Dewey Decimal numbers? Well, the non-fiction books carry Dewey Decimal numbers and are shelved numerically. Fiction books use the author's last name and are shelved alphabetically. So we can tell the difference. Yeah. We need to find only the subject cards that have an F and the author's last name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With just two hours remaining, all special assignment teams are urged to report. <laughs> Farewell, Earthlings. I hope you find unpolluted happiness in the white crystal solar system. In the meantime, we'll take care of this planet. And it'll be in even better shape than it is now! Yeah! What was that? The wipers have taken over the news channel. Leaving them behind will be a pleasure. How are you doing? Oh, fine. I just finished the microfilm. Listen. Final evacuation of Earth is set for 1,500 hours today. The few remaining Earthlings are now registered at the evacuation sites. Classified workers, including the Earth mission teams, are preparing up-to-the-minute records for our descendants, who may in the future return okay, to Okay. That's enough, Dundee. We don't have much time. Do you know where Volume 3 of the History of Wipers on Earth is? No. But have you looked in the checkout records? Perhaps it was checked out and never returned. We closed our checkout records weeks ago. We've had every book in this library or the bookmobile for over a week. There can't be any books left out there. Unless... Unless what? On the last run of the bookmobile, we were out in the Greenwood section of the city. We had the loudspeaker on, calling in the last of the books. Of course. Naturally, Sandy Bite came out to the bookmobile stop, his arms loaded down with books. That old fellow must have read three books a week. A day. Anyway, 
Most of the books he returned were about the wipers. A couple his great-grandfather wrote. Oh, yes, The Golden Wiper Mystery by Sanford Bite. And that's when I last saw it. Saw what? Volume three. Volume three of the history of wipers on Earth. Well, then Sandy gave it to you. Well, it was in the pile, but I'm not sure. I don't think he actually gave it to me. He was still looking at a page, and then well, I then turned to... Well, then he didn't to... give it to you. Why not? Maybe he just wanted it to take a few more notes. I just can't believe Sandy would ever steal anything. Well, maybe he thought he could bring it to you later. Maybe. Look, I could be wrong. Maybe he did turn it in that day, and it just got mixed up with the fiction books. Lester and Margaret are searching the fiction books right now. Well, good. Then it will probably show up. But if Sandy did keep it, I've got to get it back. It's essential to our archive. It is my duty to make sure that every important book be in this archive. Listen carefully, Dundee. If Volume 3 doesn't show up in Lester and Margaret's search, leave immediately for the evacuation site. What are you going to do? I'm going to the Greenwood section to the Bite Home. Maybe I can find the book there and bring it back to the library on the way to the evacuation site. But isn't that a little risky? You only have two hours. There's enough time if I leave right now. Anyway, I don't really have a choice. Explain it to the others, will you? I'll see you there. But are you sure you're going to have enough time? Okay, our list of fiction books about wipers is complete. Now, let's see if they're on the shelves. What's the first one? Uh, 300 Light Years from Home by Leonard Hope. Okay, where are the H's? Okay, now you said the fiction books are on the shelf in alphabetical order according to the author's last name. The first letters have the name. Right. Okay, here the H's are. H A H E. H I. Hills. Home. Holton. Hope Leonard, 300 light years from home. That's the right book. And in the right place. Oh. And it's not the missing volume three. Okay, what's next? Uh, the Golden Wiper Mystery by Sanford Bite. Your favorite? The bees are over here, Margaret. <sighs> Where are the bees? Well, they're around here somewhere. I'll find them. Babson, Balzac, Bennett. Be wise after that. Come on down here. Brinkley, Brown, Burton, Bush, Bite. Sanford Bite. Ah. And it's not the missing volume oh. three of the history of wipers, wipers on, on Earth. Earth. Oh, boy. That's the final call. And everything in this library is complete. Except for volume three. Yeah. 
I wonder if Ms. Bookhart did find it in the Bight home. Well, I hope if she did find it, she's on her way back. We've still got to get to the evacuation site. Library mission team member Bookhart calling from coordinates 10-8. Emergency assistance requested. Why can't we get through? Whatever, whatever you did, something's working up there. Working, there. I must have been an accident. Well, we'll make the same accident. Come on, hurry. This one goes down. Hurry up. Wipers jammed all signals. never made it here, I tell you. She's still out there. She's yeah. in the Greenwood section. I'm sorry. All evacuation preparations are go. It's just too late to send out a search party. This whole system is on automatic now. I'm sorry. Now, would you take your place in line, please? But yeah, but you don't under... Something. Damn. Oh, come on. It'll be our turn soon. But she's still out there alone. Miss Bookhart is the only human left out there. What next? being, riding on a golden zephyr, weaving time and space. Can you help me? From this moment you shall begin, passing the years ten times ten. Sleep now in this place, appointed since all thought began. There is a wise and wondrous plan of tones and talismans. 